With Mario 64, Nintendo took platforming into a whole new dimension. Mario Sunshine embraced its tropical theme and it introduced a game-changing flood device. Mario Galaxy went sickle mode on us, bringing in dozens of inventive gravity-defying mechanics. Then with Mario 3D World, Mario was now in 3D. Like, how he had been for 17 years now and he could turn into a cat. The concept behind 3D World was confusing and underwhelming. With 3D Land, Nintendo wanted to translate Mario Galaxy into a handheld game, and I think they did a pretty good job. But then Wii U comes out and we go, okay, what's the next big Mario game? And it's a bigger version of the handheld version of Mario Galaxy, but without the 3D effect of the 3DS, but it's still called 3D World. Huh? For me, this game is a lot easier to appreciate now that we have Odyssey. All of the things that were disappointing to me back when it released are now the same things that make it so distinct from the other titles, like the fixed camera. One of the major things people seem to struggle with in the older games is the camera. Having to control Mario and the camera at the same time just doesn't click for some people. So Mario Galaxy said, okay, you don't gotta worry about the camera anymore. We're gonna go into every single level and script out 100 different cameras so that no matter where you are, the camera is in the perfect spot. Galaxy opened the door to more linear design and 3D World walked right through. The trade-off is you get to experience new ideas much faster at the cost of the freedom you had in Mario 64. You still have the backflip, somersault, long jump, spin jump, and some new moves you'd let to see in Odyssey like the ground pound jump and the Mario roll. But none of your moves here move you very far. They're mostly just included as a flourish. Even more so than Galaxy, this game is heavily reliant on stages to to make movement interesting. World one, we already got my jam on here. Boom, boom, boom. Immediately, you are turned into Cat Mario. As the cat, you can dive across the map and climb up walls like Spider-Man. Where shit gets real, though, is when they bring in the wall treadmill. Oh, this is cool. Why is there a treadmill installed on the side of a wall? Don't you ever ask these kinds of questions. You also have the see-through pipe, which is like the green pipe, but a hundred times better in every single way. Green pipe, you gotta press down, let the animation play out, fade to black fade in animation out of the pipe. The clear pipe says, no, uh boy, we go on big mode now. Now you just slide in there. So seamless. And you can see Mario glide down the pipe with this squeaky sound effect. Sometimes he can be controlled while in the pipe. Sometimes it'll guide you through a scenic transition. And then as soon as he pops out the other side, you're in control. It's such a beautifully executed mechanic. 3D World is kind of like the sonic generations of Mario with the developers remixing all of their favorite ideas from the entire series into one big combo meal. And this approach would carry over into Odyssey. You have rabbits and slides from 64 where you ride on Yoshi's brother Yonka Dingo. The shoe power-up finally returns from Mario 3 as an ice skate. You can jump through clouds like sunshine, extendo blocks from 3D Land and Galaxy. There was just so much borrowed DNA from that game. Rhythm levels, switch pads, platforms that flip when you jump. Captain Toad thinks he's getting killed off by Doug Bowser, but it's just Wooden Bowser, you freaking moron. Puff Prod Peaks is where you realize that the Wii U gamepad was created just for you to play this one level. To move the fan platforms, you actually blow onto the gamepad. Then these little Goombas pop up and you go, see ya buddy. Look at how badass this is. Conqueror <laughs> Canyon. You jump off the spring into the litter box. The sand slows Mario down, giving the condor a slight edge. Then you go up this hill. Bop, bop. So clean with that part. Now you're at Fucko's Pass. The birds make you want to move faster, but if you go too fast, you'll slip off. Then you gotta trick this guy into pecking the brick, bounce up the sand waterfall, and then gun it down these shuffle platforms to the flag. Beautiful stage. Not every level in 3D World is perfect, but it's insane how many perfect levels are in this game. The roller coaster like Switchboard Falls. There's a Mario Kart themed level, trampoline level, circus trapeze. You can kick an exploding soccer ball into a tower of Goombas. Zoom over spinning terrain, there's a stealth level, there's an Oreo level, Double Cherry Pass. If you don't like this level, you can kiss my ass. The Double Cherry has got to be the best power-up in Mario history. You can control two, three, 
four, five, six Marios at the same time, and then you gotta somehow manage to get them all to the end of the stage. I really love this slide part where if you're good enough, you can swap your Marios to the other side without even jumping. At some point, you just have to ask how? How is there more ideas in the first two hours of this game than most AAA games can show you in 60 hours? Well, because you weren't playing a pussy-ass game anymore, you're playing a Mario game.